Well, hello, all you gorgeous creatures. Rena Valen here. Welcome to my channel. I want to tell you my story. My story started, oh, about a million years ago. <laughs> and I bet many of you can relate. Um, for those of you with not so perfect bodies, God, it seemed all my life I was, I was always a little bit overweight, just a little bit over. I remember in high school and all them telling me, hey, you know, just five pounds and you could be a model too. In fact, in eighth grade, I wanted to be a stewardess. Can you, can you believe that? Back then they called it stewardess. And I couldn't do it because I wouldn't have uh, met the weight criteria at the time, right? Yeah, talk about discrimination. Anyhow, so it's all my life, all my life I struggled with that. And uh, how many diets have you ever been on? I've been on a ma about a million. I tried them all. I tried them all. So it's been kind of a frustrating journey uh, until about, uh, let's see, 19, uh, no, not 19, 2017, <laughs> seven years ago. So if you're wondering, I'm not selling anything. I'm just here to tell you about my story and how, no matter what age you are, you can overcome things that hurt you, that hurt your body. Sometimes you don't, you don't even know that they hurt you, um, which was my case. And uh, I'm hoping that I can share some of that with you. So let me tell you about the main, main thing or the number one thing that I did to take control of my health. All right. And that's what we have to do nowadays. We have to take control of our health because you know what? Our doctors really aren't there to do it for us. I mean, how many of you have to figure out what doctor do you have to go to? It's all specialized now. It's not like the old days. You just go in and you talk to your doc and you tell him about everything. And he kind of saw everything and he treated everything. Now everyone has, you know, a dozen specialists and, um, and you know, and I'm right up there with it. So I had to take control of my own health because in 2017, my weight was so, so bad that um, it, I needed a, a back operation. I was on Celebrex. In fact, I was on Celebrex for nearly 20 years for my aching joints. How many of you have that, right? Knees and, oh God, everything. And uh, now that, you know, I look back at some of my pictures and I, and I wince because in 2017, my highest weight that I ever was, was 237 pounds. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. You know, took me all this time to actually say that. And um, so in 2017, I did the first step of my journey to re my reverse aging. And that was, um, let's see, in April, I borrowed from hook and crook and and I got up the cash money to go to Tijuana, Mexico to have a gastric sleeve done. You know, that's where they cut your belt, not your belly, but they cut down your stomach till it's the size of like a banana. And you're asking, oh, didn't I have health insurance? Yes, yes, but they wouldn't pay for it. Plus I wasn't fat enough. Can you believe that? Can you? I'm 5'2". But, uh, and my doctor, I mean, it was just no help. His, his uh, reasoning was, well, you know, you've always been this way, you know. Why do you feel like you have to change now? I'm serious. He didn't say it in those exact words. But it was pretty damn close. So, I did. I flew all the way. I'm, I live out in Pennsylvania. I flew all the way out to Tijuana right found a clinic online thank god knock on wood everything went well it was uh, like two three days and i and i flew back home and it really was it was the first step of my recovery and my reverse aging because i'll tell you having excess weight just taxes everything in your body I'm telling you, it's like amazing. The, the Most of my aches and the pains, I used to creak out of bed in the morning, went away. Um, 
not all. And I lost a significant amount of weight. I'm going to say I lost about, let's see, 37. Oh, I hate the numbers. I lost about 47 pounds. I felt wonderful. I really did. Um, and that, um, and then a couple of years later, I'm like, it was starting to creep back on. The pain was starting to come back. Um, my knees, oh, my knees and my back actually started to hurt again. And I'm like, I don't like the way this is going. And even though I had what we called the tool, which was the operation for my tummy, I mean, for my stomach, not my tummy. It still wasn't enough. And, um, and thank God for YouTube. And then again, again, be thy own healer, right? Like taking, trying to take control of my health, myself and being proactive. Honestly, through YouTube, I found some people talking or some doctors and they were talking about keto. Yeah, keto, like really? You know, and honestly, I never looked at it. I always thought it was a fat thing. And, you know, I'm Italian. And it's really hard. If you're Italian, like, you got to give up pasta. That was the most difficult part. So I looked into it. And I'm going to tell you, I eased into it. I did. I started out slow. And what I had come to find out some of the other conditions that I had and issues and my eye eye problems um, and my eyes always looked puffy I mean I always looked like you know swollen even though I had lost weight and then I realized after doing more research and study and watching a gazillion YouTube videos is that hmm I must be insulin resistant and uh, it's pretty much the case. It really is. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a problem that is plaguing most of us ever since the 50s with processed foods and new and different weird oils that have been manufactured. I think, um, and the food pyramid, which is all screwy. It's all you know. It's all been influenced by the manufacturers and the and the food makers themselves they were meant to feed the masses for very very little money and it uh, really uh, it's really not the food that we as humans you know through the ages through the beginning of time that our bodies are used to or 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 they thrive on so uh, the barcodes anything with a barcode has screwed up our life. So true story. Um, and it was about three years ago that I started that. And I started out a little at a time. And I'll be making some, some short videos, uh, which I'll be getting right to the point and sharing with you, like, how I did it. And I started out slow. I started knocking out things like the first thing was seed oils. I know you were thinking that I was going to say sugar, right? Well, sugar's up there, but seed oils. They're the ones that cause all that nasty, horrible inflammation. Like my knees. Oh, my back. My eyes always look puffy. Like little marshmallows. So, I did. I started out slow. And it's become a lifestyle. And over the years, actually, over the few first few months, it was so dramatic. And I had lost the extra 20 or 30 pounds for a total of 72. And I have to tell you, it's changed my life. I look at some of my photos and I, and even my friends and family like I haven't seen in a while. Honestly, they say I look completely different. I know I feel different. So I'm, I'm going to hopefully share some of those tips with you because I know that if I can do it, you can do it too. And I want to share it with you. It'll help me stay on track also. I mean, hey, I'm Italian. It's hard. Um, 
I do have pasta occasionally. I can't help it. <laughs> I I just can't or a cannoli, right? Well, well, a, doing a cannoli keto is just eating the insides. You just eat the cream. You you don't do the shell. <laughs> That's how I view things now. But I'll tell you, it's little tricks and little things like this that help keep you on track. After all, we do have to live, don't we? So I hope you ride the journey with me. I will post a picture. Um, or later on, I want to do my before and afters. You have to see. It's pretty embarrassing. But I think I want to do that because sometimes I need a kick in the ass. You know what I mean? I need a really good kick in the butt or a reminder for those weak moments. You know, you know what they are. I'm sure you've, I'm sure, well, not I'm sure, but maybe some of you can relate. So hang with me in this journey. You can help me out by liking this video and especially uh, subscribing to my channel. Okay. That would really help me a lot. Until then. Just start entertaining the thought of, hmm, can I be pain-free? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Wouldn't it be great to get rid of any of those little aches and pains that you have and your knees and your back? You don't need no fancy drugs at all. You don't need anything. You just need a change of, of habit. And I'll be here to help. Bye-bye.